This man hears a harrowing scream and turns on his camera. Please, pass through. It, you you it, can go, it, okay? It, go! It, go, please, go. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. breathe. Everything fine, yeah? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. That, oh my god, your hands so shaky. Don't worry. Not all heroes wear capes. You don't need to be Spider Man to do a good deed. Some citizens turn out to be real life superheroes, living ordinary lives, while demonstrating their extraordinary courage. From the neighbor who saves a baby from a grim fate, to the rescuer forced to fight kangaroo. Here's my top 13 real life heroes captured on camera. Warning the last one will make you cry. But first, like and subscribe, or else this will be in your bed tonight. What's going on here? This man has blacked out, his rucksack had tangled while getting off the ski lift. Now he is literally being strengthened by his own backpack. Time's running out. But luckily, his friend has a very unique skill perfect for this exact situation. My name is Mickey Wilson. M-I-C-K-E-Y-W-I-L-S-O-N. Wilson is a professional slackliner who competes all over the world, balancing on narrow ropes high above the ground. So how did this skill help save a life? We were riding the chairlift together, but our other friend had to ride up front because there wasn't enough space for him on our chair, and when we got off the chair, he wasn't there. I looked at that lift tower and that guy hanging lifelessly and felt the clock ticking down. I knew exactly what I had to do. You're such a gaper! So I ripped off my gloves and I climbed up the tower and I got on and I just put my leg over the cable and I scooted along it. And I got down to him and realized I didn't have my knife and I always ski with a knife. And then right then, the ski patrol showed up. One of the ski patrolmen made the most perfect toss to me from about 20 feet below. And I caught it with my hurt hand and cut him down and it was a wave of relief. He said thank you. I said no problem bro, I always wanted to climb one of those things. Keep your eye on this car. It's drifting across a busy intersection into oncoming traffic. The woman sprinting to help knows the driver. They work together and she's just realized something seriously wrong. She's slumped over the steering wheel, but alone the brave friend can't stop the runaway car, so she waves frantically. Brave strangers get out of their vehicles and band together to help stop the car. But now, they desperately need to get into the vehicle. Time is of the essence as the woman needs immediate medical help. Quick thinking, one person uses a dumbbell to smash a rear window and open her door. But how did she become unconscious? She took medication on an empty stomach and became dehydrated, causing her to pass out. I don't even remember leaving work. It starts off as a routine warm-up on the uneven bars. This 11-year-old gymnast does a handstand split on the high bar. Suddenly, her hand slips. That's when the coach does something incredible. Just a split second later, and she would have hit the mat head first, causing a life injury. Mystery device, I guarantee you've never heard of, saves a life. Frantically a mother is patting her 10-month-old baby who's choking on a piece of pancake. The child is turning blue. You can see the look of terror on the people around, while both parents are hitting him hard, but nothing's working. At this point, baby Gabriel is now unconscious, with eyes rolled to the back of his head. Panic erupts. Now watch as this guy leaps from his table, but he's not going towards the commotion. He's going outside. Then, he runs back in, with something in his hands. But what is it? He tells mom to put little Gabriel on the table. I'll never forget she li lifted him up and uh, trusts me to like a last hope. Major Hillard had a device in his car called a life vac, which he suctioned to little Gabriel's mouth. It's a portable airway clearing device. It's simple, place, push, pull. I'd recommend getting one. Seriously, it could save your child's life or even your own. Amazon links in the description. Grandma to the rescue. Three, two, one, see ya! A daredevil leaps off a building. But what happened next was totally unexpected. The jumper crashes into the side of a high-riser apartment building in Acapulco, Mexico, and is left dangling helpless. He's only hanging onto a strap for dear life, until this elderly lady comes to the rescue. I think and uh, grabs him sucks. by the hand, helping him onto her balcony and into safety. I'm okay! Do you want a, a glass of water? No, no thank you. It's a heart-stopping moment. A baby stroller is rolling straight into speeding traffic, caused by a blast of wind. The great aunt suddenly realizes, but falls. She gets up. 
but falls again. Knees bleeding. As the stroller continues barreling ahead, vehicles whiz by, at 40 miles an hour. Tensions are rising. Then, just seconds from disaster, suddenly, a homeless hero catches the stroller. Brown Nessman. What's happening here? Rebecca Montana is behind the counter at a convenience store in Colorado. She came up to pay for her soda. I came up to the counter to help her. I talked to her right there and she answered me. No problem. I love babies, so I wanted to see if I could get the baby to talk to me or smile or anything. And all of a sudden, the girl had a glazed look over her face and I knew something wasn't registering with her. So I grabbed the baby's arm and I was trying to say, do you need help? Do I need to get somebody? What's wrong? And she just was lost in space, her look. So I thought, I gotta take this baby before something happens. Montana grabs the baby girl just as the mom falls backwards and slams her head onto the ground. So what was wrong? Jessica has had seizures her entire life due to epilepsy, but this time was different. Usually I get some type of warning. One minute I'm getting a drink and the next thing I'm in the ambulance. A terrifying video shows a pit bull pounce on a six-year-old boy and knock him to the ground. Little Mason Lindemann was playing in his driveway with friends when a vicious pit bull escaped from a neighbor's home and attacked, clamping his jaw down on the boy's head. The boy's friends run for help as Mason struggles to break free. Then, suddenly, a hero comes to the rescue, a 19-year-old college student who's just enlisted in the Army National Guard. As soon as I noticed, I just ran over there without thinking. I didn't know how, but I knew I had to get the dog off of the boy. He courageously runs straight into the path of danger. Watch as he deliberately diverts the pit bull's attention, giving the six-year-old child the chance to run home. But unfortunately, I looked back and my shoes came off. I tripped and fell. The dog was on top of me before I knew it. And I knew that I had to keep his mouth away from me. So I tried to grab his throat and it bit me. A fight ensued leaving Brown with injuries on his fingers, while Mason was bit on the back of his head which required several staples. Why did this zookeeper punch a kangaroo? They were in Australia, hunting boar, when Tompkins, a zookeeper, goes running to rescue his dog Max from an aggressive kangaroo. The kangaroos grip the dog in a headlock. Then the two square off, allowing Max to escape. When this happens, and the kangaroo reacts with a You did not just do that Look of disbelief before jumping away For terminal cancer patient Callan Barwick This kangaroo encounter was the highlight of his trip Despite the controversy The hunt was actually organized to fulfill the dying wish of this 19 year old Who a few months later and just a few days after marrying his high school sweetheart in his hospital room Died This 3 year old toddler was spotted dangling from the window of an 8th floor apartment 100 feet up in the air in Kazakhstan in an incredible act of bravery, Sabo Shantak Bayev balances on the ledge as he reaches for the baby. Tensions are rising. Would you sacrifice your life to save others at 10 years old? This little hero did. She is truly a hero and she will forever be my kid's guardian angel. At just 10 years old, Kiara was known as a popular babysitter in her neighborhood. One day, after returning from school, Kiara was playing outside her house when she noticed something horrifying. Her stepmom's car, which had been parked on the sloping driveway, began moving backward, heading straight for two little girls playing in the yard. It quickly picked up momentum as it rolled down the dirt driveway toward the girls. Kiara had no time to think. She rushed towards the car and pushed the girls out of the way. But before she could jump into safety herself, the vehicle struck Kiara, knocking her down and dragging her several feet until it pinned her against the fence. Tragically, she died on the way to hospital. Love me. Always give me hugs. She's an amazing little girl. But how did this happen? A faulty safety mechanism in the car that should have prevented the accident was broken. Strangers from across the world sent their support, including then-President Barack Obama. A GoFundMe page was created to help the family with funeral expenses, and in just six days it raised $90,000. But one of the most devastating responses came from Kiara's peers. This note from Kiara's best friend will break your heart. Kyra, it has been a really long time since I've seen you. I miss you so much. I wish I could go back in time and stop the accident. But we all know that's not possible. I can't wait till I see you again. P.S. Best friends forever. Love, Ruby. We will never forget you, Kiara. 
Normal couple? Think again. Notice how the woman wears shades hiding her eyes, while the man avoids any eye contact with the staff. After checking in, they go to the waiting area. But before even sitting down, the woman disappears off screen, while the man waits with the dog. Two minutes later, she returns to the lobby. But what she does next will haunt the receptionist for the rest of her life. Watch next. Watch.